I'm Don with the Law Office of Don R. Dennis Jr. My office helps businesses that are involved in complex business deals. The issue is this when you sign an agreement. Are there adequate protections to help you in the event things don't go as planned? And do you comprehensively understand all the terms in the agreement? As an engineer, experienced attorney, and certified privacy professional, I've seen all types of agreements. My office's motto is engage diligence because I believe clients have the right to a responsive attorney that has the same energy for them from the beginning until the end. If you're looking for an attorney that's going to fight for you and not with you on your matter, contact my office at 213-455-0880. A Florida judge has deemed uh, that watching Ava DuVernay's uh, the 13th was an acceptable way for a local man to complete some of his community service hours following a racially charged incident. Okay. Um, I don't agree with that, but I'm going to let you uh, hear the story and then maybe you can agree or not agree. Um, it said Luis Orlando Santos Santiago, 56 years old, accosted then 18 year old, uh, black teen on June the 9th, 2020, as he rode his bicycle to school for an early morning athletic practice around 5 30 AM. Uh, Santiago accused the teenager whose name has been redacted for the court documents of breaking in the cars as in the neighborhood in the Tampa suburb of Sefner, Florida and say where they both lived and recorded a video of himself accosting a young man. Now in that video, uh, Santiago asked if he lives, is it in the neighborhood to which he replies, uh, he does. And then he told him that he's not going anywhere. You're being detained. He tells this young man that he's an off duty uh, officer. Do you know what kind of officer he is? Um, he previously worked as a security officer at a theme park. Oh boy, idiot. So they say when police arrived, you know, the young brother was hyperventilating and thought this idiot had a gun on him. Uh, police found that the young brother committed no crime at all. Um, and there was no crimes to report in the neighborhood at all in 2020. Now, six weeks later, uh, July 25th, he was charged uh, with false imprisonment. And the state attorney said what happened that morning should upset everyone in our community. He said, we have uh, skilled police officers. We don't need vigilantes confronting people on the street. So, you know, uh, Santos pled guilty to a charge of assault with prejudice after originally facing a false imprisonment charge. He was sentenced to one year probation and 25 hours community service. Now, if he would have had the false imprisonment charge, he definitely would have got some jail time. So I, I want to know how they got that charge down from false imprisonment to assault with prejudice. Okay. Now him watching Ava DuVernay's, uh, the 13th, uh, even though it, it, I've seen it and it's okay. Uh, I don't think that should be part of his community service. Shoot. You know how I feel about it. You need to put his behind out there and make him dig ditches and bust rocks. You know, as part of his community service, 25 hours. Man, forget 25 hours. He need a thousand hours of community service. That's what he need. You know, I mean, that's not enough time. A year of probation. I mean, I, I, now the way probation works, if he violates probation, he will go to jail for the remainder of that year. So hopefully he violates probation. Um, and they say, in the, and he was also ordered to complete anger management and implicit bias classes on top of that. Um, they said the Hillsborough uh, Circuit Judge. Uh, Lyanne Goody encouraged Santiago to watch uh, the documentary. Um, and, and she says that she felt it'd be very enlightening for him to watch. And they said the, you know, young brother's mother had opened up, um, about that and saying that, you know, as an African American mother, we have a difficult conversations with our sons about diffusing situations about keeping your hands up. If you stopped and complying, even if you did nothing wrong, so this is absurd, but unfortunately necessary in our community. 
It said, I, I hope people hear uh, this and change the narrative of judging young black men. Now, listen, mom, 5.30 in the morning, my son is not riding no bike nowhere. 5.30 in the morning, I'm going to get myself up and bring my son to his school because that's at night. You're not riding no bike at night. You're just not doing that. I'm going to pick you up and then you're going to come back. That's just the way it's going to work. You know, you have to sometimes rearrange your life for your children. That's what parents do. And you say, well, my job won't let me. If your job won't let you take care of your children, or you got to sacrifice your children for a freaking job, and maybe you need to get you another job or start your own business where you can have the time to make sure your children get to school okay. You understand? Because that could have been a Trayvon Martin situation part two. It really could have. And we're glad it didn't turn out that way, but it could have. Same, same state, Florida. We don't need to allow our children to be walking in, in, in the neighborhood at night, going place at night. I have never, never, never allowed my children to walk nowhere at night. No, we got a car. Get you, let's put you in this car. We'll take you where you need to go. We'll pick you up. That's just good parenting, folks. But, you know, leave me a comment, anything about the situation here. But don't let your sons and daughters be out here at night doing anything and you got a car. And if you can't take them at that moment, well, they, they need, need to wait a little bit. But, but no, 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 not at night. It's way too much going on these days. Join me on the fourth annual homecoming and pilgrimage to Sierra Leone on December 28th, 2021 through January 9th, 2022. We will be exploring this beautiful country and eligible individuals will be receiving Sierra Leonean citizenship and passports for more details, check out our website, SierraLeonePilgrimage.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel, Go Home Lifestyle Vlogs, because we all need an Africa escape plan.